For more on ADP, we're joined now from Boston by the Bloomberg Best on the overall economy, State Street Global Market Senior Fixed Income Strategist, John Herman. And John, we were just speaking during the commercial break. Wow, this is a big surprise. Yeah. This is a really extraordinary report. I, what it, it sort of it shows a couple of things. First, uh, it's, it's showing that uh, the loss in momentum that we've seen in, in, in payrolls for the last few months, it may be ebbing and passing, and uh, the economy may be poised to accelerate and recover in the third quarter. This is you know, very, very uh, much needed. Uh, the other thing is it, it shows just how difficult it was to seasonally adjust a lot of this data. What we have to remember is that April was a late, uh, a late reference week and a late Easter, so we had a lot of job gains in April. And then May was an early survey, and we had a very small level of claims and uh, small level jobs. And now we're seeing in, in June we had a late reference week, so we had a big gain. So if we average it all out, it looks as though the economy you know, may have had a little hiccup in the second quarter. But, uh, you know, it just looks like the, the, the pace of job growth may be pretty decent, pretty resilient. John, I know that you were forecasting unemployment, the unemployment rate to rise to 9.2 to 9.3 percent in the third quarter. Does this change that forecast at all? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, you know, part of what we were worried about, we were worried that uh, the economy, you know, the soft patch could linger a little bit. And as new entrants came to the workforce, that they would be gathering jobs slowly, as some indicators were suggesting. But this, is, uh, these, this report is suggesting that, uh, you know, in, in fact, as new entrants come in, recent college grads and so on, that they're actually picking up jobs. And that's a really, really good thing. And that will offset the cuts that we expect at the state and local level of government. So net net, you know, we could hover in sort of a flattish level at the unemployment rate, may even, may even dip. Economics Editor Mike McKee is still online here. Mike, let me ask you a question. Are you starting to see any changes in the monthly employment numbers in Not terms yet. of estimates? Those, those are going to keep coming in uh, throughout the morning as uh, the economists break down these numbers and reconsider where they are. But I'd like to ask John if this makes you reconsider what you are forecasting for tomorrow, given the fact that ADP is uh, you know, not always accurate in predicting the direction of payrolls. Uh, it's it's true, but uh, you know we have to. There's a couple of things uh, that we have to say. Is it, it does a reasonably good job of picking up movements, month-to-month -month movements in manufacturing, and we saw a very solid gain of 24,000 in manufacturing. So that's a plus, and that was way over, way over what the consensus is right now for manufacturing, which is only 5,000. So uh, that's first point. Second point is. It's doing increasingly a better job of picking up service sector hiring. So maybe you know this this points to uh, you know a pretty potentially a pretty decent report. Is this enough to keep unemployment down? I think so. You know, if we're if we're going to be running at around 150 to 175 in private payrolls, if we're going to average that, that will offset the 25,000 ish cuts that we see at state and local government and so on net will be adding about 130 to 145,000 per month in, in overall jobs and that is consistent with the unemployment rate very slowly grinding lower.